wanted to be outside today um, because it's the first day of spring and you can see behind me I wanted to show everyone that our trees here are blooming and I know my friends back in Colorado and family they're in the snow today so I just want to bring you guys some spring vibes and some spring energy um, I know it doesn't feel like it with everything going on around the world so I wanted to just take a temperature to see how everyone's doing how are you feeling you know comment in there right now and tell me how you guys are feeling with all this stuff going on with the corona virus and people having to stay home and not being able to be together physically so let me know in the comments how are you feeling how are you doing hey Patrice good to see you so happy spring equinox what is everyone doing today for the spring equinox are you getting outside or are you inside because it's snowing in Colorado? Hey, Kavita, good to see you. So I, I um, wanted to hop on to be of service to people, you know, at this time where it's like very high anxiety, high stress, high, a lot of uncertainties. And um, if you can't hear me, please let me know because it's a little windy, but it's still really nice out. So I'm seeing some people are stressed, scared, worried for their kids, financial situation. Um, thanks, Patrice. I love you too. Yeah, I mean, I, I've had really difficulty focusing and doing things as well. And um, I don't know if a lot of you know, but I, I do energy work. I'm an energy healer, master teacher, and I certify people in Reiki. And um, so I'm really sensitive to energy. I've been waking up feeling really overwhelmed and my body is like hurting, just taking on, you know, heavy fears that are kind of in the atmosphere and just uh, having to do a lot of like spiritual work around it, energy work to kind of clear. And so I'm knowing if I'm feeling this, I know everyone else is too. People are home with their kids who can't go to school and, you know, are looking for ways to just kind of get grounded and, um, I have a lot of great tools and techniques that I use as an um, energy healer and also been meditating for about 10 years and that has been my go-to as well as yoga has just saved my my butt forever <laughs> during very stressful situations so um, I have another Facebook page Amy and I um, have a healing business called the human Wi-Fi um, some of you are already on there but I am going to be sharing a lot of like meditation tips, even if you're a beginner, never meditated, really some tips you can do throughout the day, um, like energy healing type of techniques that you can do. Um, so I will be sharing, get going live mostly on the human Wi-Fi, and that's why I wanted to get on, on here today because I have um, a lot more connections here than I do on my human Wi-Fi page. So make sure to go over there and like our page so you can can um, get some some healing we might do some live heal um, live meditations together as well hi Pam hi Jenny um, but I thought today was very symbolic because it's it's the equinox so the, the equinox means today is going to be the equal amount of daylight as there is darkness so we are kind of in the middle right we're having equal daylight and equal darkness and so and these times right now with the corona, we you know we have a lot of choices to make. You know, there's going to be a lot of um, endings and new beginnings. And that's what the spring equinox symbolizes, right? Ending the winter, beginning the spring. And today we're on a special day where we have both. We have the same amount of, of darkness and light. And so we have choices to make. Do we want to focus on the darkness or do we want to focus on the light and that is where where we have to make conscious choices every day right because I am even getting sucked into this new to listening to the news constantly every day and getting that fear just like rising up inside of me you know and there are so many little things we could do instead of turning on the news you know and 
um, turning, getting our phones, we can turn our phones into something that's productive instead of something that's a mass distraction, right? So a little thing that you can do to help yourself make choices and to help yourself create positive intentions every day instead of getting overrun by fear is think about it right now. We have a choice to focus on the light or the darkness. So what? who do you want to be in this situation? What kind of person do you want to be during this time where we are going through massive changes, massive endings, endings of how we're used to being and beginnings of, of new ways of being, right? We're not used to not being able to go to the restaurants and go be in public. So this is... We can, we can either panic or we could, you know, take some time to do some inner work and we're, you know, connecting to family. Um, so those are some ideas. So tell me right now in the chat, give me some words, some words of, of something and how you want to be. Like maybe you're not that right now, but you really want to be this way. Like uh, my three words are um, courageous. I want to, you know, be courageous during this time. Um, my other word is um, inspiration. I like to look f- for people to help me, to inspire me. And I want to inspire others as well. So that's two words. Um, my last word would be uh, love. You know, just always um, giving love instead of fear. And with love, I think also comes faith. So I have, have actually have four words. <laughs> so faith would definitely help. So just know that you have the choice. You know, we have this thing called the human Wi-Fi. That's why we call it the human Wi-Fi. Everyone has this technology. It's not just us. It's everyone has this technology of the human Wi-Fi. Where we have an ability, we have the technology to connect to something higher and greater than ourselves. And we have the choice to turn on the Wi-Fi or turn it off. We have the choice to charge it up and to create a strong signal or have a weak signal. And just like our cell phones, we can choose to use all the the abilities that our cell phone has. Or we can keep the Wi-Fi off and just use just one or two things that the phone has, the capabilities. We have so many capabilities that we don't tap into. And so I just want to encourage you to to make that choice. Decide those three words you want to be. I see Gloria wants to be strong, supportive, caring. Patrice wants to be compassion and have faith and love. Good. That is awesome. So now I challenge you both, Gloria and Patrice, since you've given me your words, I challenge you to do this. Take those three words and take your cell phone. And I want you to program those three words into your alarm. So an iPhone has an alarm where you can label the alarm, like what you need the alarm for. So in the label, I want you to write those words. Strong, supportive, caring, compassion, faith, love. And I want you to have your phone go off at certain times of the days where you feel like you need it the most. The days that were, like maybe at night you start to get really fearful. So make that alarm come on at night to remind you that that is your intention. It would be really good to have it come on right after you wake up. After you've gotten up, you're kind of awake and all of a sudden this alarm goes off again an hour later and it reminds you of who you want to be that day. Because we forget and if we are constantly um, immerse in the fear-based news and um, listening to people who are worried and, and scared, we're going to be come that way too because fear is contagious just like the virus. But we have access to an unseen vaccine and that is the human Wi-Fi. So use it. Turn it on. Connect to the things that you know will help you. You know, don't turn on the news right when you wake up that's an easy one and instead you know do your spiritual practice get connected to that higher power get charged up get that faith flowing right um there's so many other ways get outside you know start taking those vitamins boost your immune system you know spend time um with your pets and your animals are so healing so 
there's so many things to do. If you have other ideas, punch them in there too. Share it with everyone because people will watch this later. This will be a replay and people can read and get ideas. So just want to be of service. Just want to let you know that I will be on the Human Wi-Fi Facebook page more often doing lives like this, giving more specific tips as far as healing, self-healing, and meditations. So thank you guys for joining me. So good to see everybody and connect with you virtually. And remember to don't use your cell phone for mass distraction. Use your cell phone to help you be that better person, that greater, your greater self that you could be. All right. I love you guys. Thank you, Patrice. (laughs) Glad you like my shirt. (laughs) We'll see you later.